The stage gate process, developed decades ago by Bob Cooper, is now used by most B2B companies to manage their new product innovation. It's like a Swiss army knife that helps you do many things, inform management, avoid missteps, limit risk and liabilities, provide accountability, plan needed resources, and support portfolio views. But like any tool, you can't use it for everything. Expecting otherwise will only lead to disappointing results. So what does your StageGate process do well, and where does it need help? A StageGate process manages the interface between the company and the project team. It helps reduce mistakes, but by itself can foster analytical thinking, a checklist mentality, and internal focus. At your next gate review, ask team members how many hours they spent talking to internal colleagues and how many to customers. This interface is necessary, but not sufficient. You must build a strong team-customer interface on top of this foundation. Ensure your teams have the customer insight skills needed to understand market needs better than competitors. Can they listen actively, demonstrate they are listening, probe for deeper meaning, understand the value that could be created, trigger new ideas, clarify the outcomes customers want, make keen observations during customer tours. These skills don't happen by themselves. Leaders need to make them a priority. Do this and your gate reviews will be far more rewarding. Instead of discussing what a team forgot on a checklist, you'll discuss what they found in a customer interview. That's what leads to breakthroughs. Check out this article for more on the effective use of StageGate systems. And you can download this ebook to see all 30 of these videos in written form. If we can help, email us at infotheaiminstitute.com. We'd love to hear from you.